I have Elizabeth Hendrickson from The Young and the Restless with me, guys. And I know you guys have so many Chloe questions, as do I. What is Chloe's deal? Did she blow up Adam or not? You know, <laughs> she's like, yes, you did. I really don't think she did. I don't think she did. The funny thing is that I really don't know. <laughs> I hope she didn't because I want to keep Chloe on the show. You and Kevin are so cute well, together. That's what I didn't understand when it was kind of insinuated that I possibly could. I was like, this is more than a six-month contract, I know. <laughs> so I, I don't think that she did. I think they just left it open-ended. You know, it's really just because Justin, no one wants to say it, but Justin Hurtley got a job on NBC and he's killing it. And <laughs> we didn't know if he was going to get picked up for another eight episodes and now he did. So I'm sure, you know, maybe he will pop up somewhere, but I don't think that Chloe did it. I think she was just in the wrong place in the wrong time and she just wanted to put him to sleep for a little bit. Aww. You know, when she shot, when she, you know, shot him with a tranquilizer. Unfortunately, there was that one li line that I had to say, which is, you know, I'm going to watch you die. Um, <laughs> but. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and I love Chloe, uh, and I love that you and Chelsea have this sitcom relationship. If you guys were to be a sitcom, which one would you be? Oh, that's a good question. We are a good sitcom. You know, honestly, when we work together, that's just how we are as friends, so it's just really easy. Um, oh, gosh, I don't know. Would we be like a Laverne and Shirley? I'm thinking Laverne and Shirley because it's really fun. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And then they, we get to do like a little like fun like song and dance, which is totally us. So I'm gonna go with. Laver I wonder what she's gonna say. <laughs> that would be funny because I'd love to hear Melissa's take, but I think she's already been through here. So let's talk about your baby. Who do you think the dad is, Kevin or Billy? I mean, I again, I don't know. Believe it or not, because. They won't tell me, <laughs> which is really silly because Chloe knows who the father is, so I should know as an actress. But it's kind of fun because I go back and forth. Mm, I don't know. Last week I thought it was Kevin, and this week I think it's Billy. So it'll be as much a surprise for me as it is for the viewers, which I'm kind of excited about. I almost wanted to be Billy just because Billy and Chloe haven't had a lot of interaction in the past if, like five years so I think that would be fun but I also love working with Greg and I love Kevin and Chloe together so I will really be happy with either one and also Billy has like a lot of kids <laughs> yeah, exactly that was my role. can't be Billy because he has so many kids he's just getting women pregnant all over the place but maybe it'll be a, maybe neither of them are the daddy yeah maybe Chloe really did have that fling maybe it's Nick. <laughs> well, yeah, since, you know, his kid's turning out to be Adams, it should be Nick, right? Or he has a lot of kids, yeah, too. Yeah, he's getting more pregnant, too. Yeah, I don't know. We gotta figure, you know, I, I, I really have no idea. I'm fine with either, and I'm also fine for a possible third mystery man. No, not at all. Well, cool. And Dr. let's backtrack a little bit. So you said that Justin is killing it on This Is Us. Have you seen it? And what do you think? Oh, yeah, I have seen it. I'm watching it. I love the show. He is doing an incredible job because he's an incredible actor, and um, and I'm so happy for him. I, I go, I was so bummed that I only got such a small amount of time to work with him. We had such a great time uh, working with each other, even just those you know few days that we had. We were both kind of bummed that that was all we got because we kind of just scratched the surface. Yeah. Um, you know, we don't have a lot of time to like redo scenes, so we had our first scene that was a first time we ever saw each other on set we did it it's over you know we don't get to have like days and days and a year or so of trying to like build that momentum or even just personal relationship of working with each other um, but he he's awesome and um, he's gonna continue to be awesome and kill it on that show so I'm happy for him well that's awesome I mean you did pull a gun on him hit him with a car and allegedly blow him up but you know let's talk about your favorite moments which hopefully aren't though or maybe some of the lighter sides. Since you have been on a Y and R off and on for quite some time, do you have any favorite moments? Well, it's funny because some of those were my favorite. 
shows that. Well, only because we had so much fun doing that. Um, and it's fun to do those really kind of outlandish, crazy things. I always say my favorite, um, one of my favorite scenes is uh, the, the little rom-com scene that Greg and I had when we had our New Year's Eve episode when she's running in her slippers and I just love that. Um, and some of my favorite stuff is like all of my heavy drama stuff, like really heavy stuff when I had, when I found out Delia had cancer and unfortunately when she died. Just because as an actress there she goes, oh, that's the second person to grab my butt. It's funny. It's hey guys, Rebecca Budding, who was her first soap opera was Guiding Light. She's also been on All My Children and currently General Hospital. Just jumped in the frame with Greg Rickard, who we've been talking with Elizabeth Hendrickson about. How I always say, one of my favorite scenes, uh, moments on the show and favorite scenes was our New Year's Eve show. Mine too. Yeah. I would also like to add that Rebecca was fired from Guiding Light. <laughs> <laughs> that was my wait. My first audition ever, first professional audition ever, was for her role on Guiding Light, and I didn't get When I left, when I left, yeah, when I left, yeah, when you left, yeah, yeah. Fired. She was fired. I she was left. fired. Because they told her to. <laughs> So what is the real story here, Rebecca? Because I'm glad you got like pretty liquor. terrible. They probably should have fired me, but I left. You were never terrible. <laughs> I was done. And then you became Greenlee Smythe, who is one of my all-time favorite daytime characters. <laughs> She's one of my favorites too. So it's a good thing I left. I guess. <laughs> Even though it's been number one for 30 years, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, I was part of it no, for three I'm years. Kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> well, I'll. All right, Rebecca, since I do have you here and we do the General Hospital show as well at After Buzz TV, I would like to know who Hayden is really going to be with. We've got Nicholas possibly coming back if we're going to clear up some contract issues or get Nick Sabil. We have Donnell Turner's Curtis or Finn, which is just adorable. Who do you think she should be with? Well, um, I don't know. Each of them bring out a different quality in her. Uh, I'm partial to Finn right now just because I like the um, I like how quirky his character is. So I find it really interesting. But I also love Curtis. So, but then I also love Nicholas. So. I don't know. <laughs> there are too many cute guys. Yeah. That's a toss -up. Yeah. yeah. Well, cool. Uh, Greg, since we've got you here uh, and you've been Kevin uh, so many years and a character that really t started out as a creep, but is now like the sweetest and cutest guy. Hey. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Pretty crazy. Um, I'm just uh, I'm grateful that he's had the evolution he has and. Uh, um, he's always been fun to play, and he's fun when he's creepy and dangerous, and he's fun when he's nice. So. Well, cool. So, um, who would you pick if you were Kevin, and you had a choice of Mariah, Chloe, or Natalie? Oh, gosh. Um, I don't know. There's there's uh, elements of all of them that I love. Uh, <laughs> what did you ask? They asked... They asked um, you, Cl Chloe, Mariah, or Natalie, who would I pick? Oh. So I was, uh, what Rebecca. I had just, what I had just said. Rebecca. Yeah. <laughs> Rebecca, yeah. Excuse me while my dinner comes up. Um, <laughs> oh, they, <laughs> they asked. The you never wanted. She would be. They, they, uh, yes. let's see. Yeah, elements of all of them that I like. I don't know, I think uh, Chloe and Kevin have the most history, so I think that's where my heart lies. He has to say that because I'm here. <laughs> and because it's true. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And I know you guys are next door neighbors, right? Yeah, yes. and the universe and played a cruel like, joke on me. <laughs> That's right. Yes, because no. of me. Yeah, yes. Can Why? I change my answer, Mariah? What do you mean by because of you? <laughs> right? Yeah, it's yeah. your fault. How? This is all your fault. How? Because I you knew that car. you were because you oh I was in the car with you I knew that they were selling you were you were like oh my god look this house for sale I said that's Greg Rickard I know Greg and then you got out and you talked to him and then you didn't even have an open house it was the worst day of my life <laughs> you were with me that day yes I was with you every <laughs> day <laughs> I think we need Rebecca on the Young and the Restless Let's for a bit the record Rebecca took care of me for a year okay I am alive because of Rebecca Buttig. I am. I had a. I had. I had the only bed I've ever slept on. That's like the most amazing bed I've ever slept on. Is because of Rebecca Buttig. <laughs> she did. Live she did. She lived with Bob and I. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're neighbors. <laughs>
Well, that's cool. That's fun. And you know. <laughs> so, do you guys have any final thoughts for your fans? Since CBS is celebrating their number one in daytime, and I know some of you have been on ABC Daytime as well, long tenure. Do you have any final thoughts for our AfterBuzz TV viewers? Yeah, we wouldn't be here right now talking to you and celebrating 30 years if it weren't for you guys. So, agreed. 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 Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for talking to me. Everything he's ever said that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are adorable. You really do need to have a comedy duo.